happening very oddly because it seems to be doing some odd things on my screen at the moment. Oh dear. Well, this is what happens when we try and record old, old games which are good. Because this is an old, old game that is good by digital reality. This is probably the second or third game that I have ever played. And ah, that's now changed and done even more weirdness. Okay, it's allowed me to get in. So, this, as it's not told you so far, is Imperium Galactica 2. This is quite difficult to get playing, and I actually had to find a mod online to allow it. I'll post that in the description, or a link to it, um, if I can remember where I got it. And I've been, play I've been casually playing this, mostly the tutorial missions and a few other things. And I've played enough to now sort of remember how this went. Um, pretty much, we're going to be playing a single player campaign, we're going to be playing the Empire of Sol campaign. Not the one I typically go for. Um, the Solarian Empire is sort of the all-rounders. Um, strong research, and they are simply average in other areas, but we like his strong research things. Um, there's then the Shinari, who is the race I normally play. Um, weak in military, but they have the diplomacy and the spying down. And then you have the Krahen. Yeah, warrior elites, and they will eliminate you if they get the chance. They are generally, you know, they're, as long as you've built up a strong empire before they appear on the board, you they're normally okay. But it has been a long time since I've actually played a game of this to completion, and really I've only done the initial bits with the Shinari. We're going to play with the Solarian Empire to start with. And we're playing on normal because, again, we do want to complete this. Things doing this. We shall see. Within the Empire, a small minority of treasonous citizens attempt to ignite citizens? civil war. Outside of our borders, the forces of those who would oppress the human race are growing steadily. But we will not be denied our destiny. One day soon, the human race will enter a new phase in its evolution. A phase that will leave us with an unprecedented superiority over our foes. The four lost crystals, the tears of the gods, hold the key to this future. But they have been taken from us as a test of our righteousness. 
we must begin the search for their recovery immediately. And even though it may be our sons, or even our grandsons, who finally complete the task, none of us must shirk this responsibility. But it will not be easy, and the path ahead is dark and forbidding. That is why I have volunteered to be placed in suspended animation, so that in the future I may rise again and lead your descendants to their birthright. Then, godlike in our power and wisdom, mankind will bring the entire galaxy under our dominion. So, as you can see, very, very reasonable goals and aims. For Let's get a pause on before we do that. The growth of the Empire should be your prime concern, and suitable planets should be located and colonized as soon as possible. You should also keep a watchful eye on the religious sect known as the Brotherhood of Tears. Membership of this cult has grown steadily over the past few years, and they are putting their considerable resources into locating the four lost crystals of knowledge. If the crystals are found, it is rumored that Caleron himself the founder of the Brotherhood, will return to active life from suspended animation. If this is true, his return could seriously upset the stability of the Empire. So, we know the plans of our rivals, we know what we have to do. But this, I actually haven't played this solid in quite a long time, so I've actually forgotten um, quite a lot of their sort of strategy things. I've played the Shishinari mostly, who are just basically trade, 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 and dear god use your allies to help you survive. Um, anyway, so Imperium Galactica 2. Your orders. The way this game generally plays and works is that we have a, it's a very slow and very organic expansion for your reasons orders. that will sort of become obvious. The, anytime we find a star, we can put a satellite on it and find out what um, information it has on it. In this case, this is a 210% production and a 100% civilian growth. It's a reasonable planet for production, so we shall go and colonize it. I'm, I don't have a terraforming ship, so I can't do anything about that. This is our current homeworld. And as you can see, we have various things here, although we are put... It, 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 the building's a bit awkward in this because you have to sort of navigate around the terrain a little. But um, as you can see, there's various facilities which we build up as and when we need it. We have 300 spare power and we have 2,462 spare workers. Um, no, we don't want to build another colony hub. I was trying to find out where the information is. Sorry, it's been a little while since I've done this. There we go. So as you can see, um, it has problems there which will be solved by the AI. It's actually reasonably good at setting itself up for this. Uh, tax rate moderate, um, most people are okay with the taxes. That You'll always get that regardless, it just happens. Um, the auto build. So we can set up generally how we want it to build things. And what we want it to do is to build up a... not trade necessarily. I think we want to build up a production side of things on this. No, actually, technological, because we have 100% production rates here. So, for, for it being a forest world. So we're going to make this a technological world. It will then try to concentrate on building uh, research facilities, such as ship research and etc. The priority is how adamantly it will build that, as opposed to other things it needs. On normal, it will try and concentrate on that, but also, if there is a high problem, for example, hospital need, that goes up to something like 40-50%, it will build that first. It, it seems to be reasonably intelligent, which is a rare thing, actually, in this sort of game. You can micromanage, but... I generally find I don't need to with a butt, but we'll get there in a moment. Now I mentioned yes, kind of organic expansion. The reason for that it will be shown off by here. So the red is basically our radar range. So that is as far as the Empire can see. Now our ships have radar as well, but it works depending on how close we are to our own Empire. So if I spin on the time a little, you'll see a little blue section which is the ship's personal radar. Oh, the other thing I will do actually before we go too much further, so I'll actually slow time right down here. In fact, I'm going to stop time here because I didn't set this up, is research. The only thing we can research is the Hyperdrive Mark 1, which is a obviously a speed upgrade. Very important that we get that quite early. But because it's we only have one ship building research, we can only build that. What are the other things we can do? Design. Uh, ship design is uh, not 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 the brilliant thing here, but basically when we have things, we can upgrade them, and then we can upgrade the entire fleets later. You can also buy. Um, there's sort of a black market, almost, or sort of an international 
market sort of thing. So we can actually buy ships that other empires have sold. We can also buy tanks and things. There are space bases we can put into orbit, though I don't tend to use those an awful lot. This is the research screen. So from here, we have each of the um, tank research on the right, on the left, building research on the right, um, and then there's ship building, ship research in the middle. In order to get certain things, we need a certain number of facilities. In that case, we need three. We only have one. And that's what we're currently researching. Some things are have prerequisites, but they'll come available as and when as you would expect. Spying is something that seems to work brilliantly well in this game. We have one spy who is a shape changer, which is quite useful for him. He has an infiltration skill of six, a counterintelligence skill of three, a combat skill of two, but he doesn't have a high loyalty stat. So what we can do is we can train him. Now our training costs twice as much as it does with the um, Shinari, but if we put him on a long training session for most of our money, it will massively increase his loyalty and other stats as well. So, we'll leave him to it. Until we encounter anybody else, he's fairly useless in any case, but I like to put them on an initial one, a, a short initial training thing. I assume that was him. Unless we do have a second one. We don't have a free spy center. We only have one spy center, so we can't recruit him. And he's not that much better than the other one. So I'm going to decide later, but we're probably not going to hire him. There are other things we need. Now you'll notice... Oh, we did get a star from that. So we deploy satellites, and we get to know what the information is about it. So it's similar to this world, and that might be worth colonizing in the near future. Production happens from planets here, based on the number of ship facilities. So it's got a capacity of 1,000, which is the number of build points it can make every... I forget what the cycle is. But basically, because we've got one, we can only make one of those. First thing we're going to do is make another colonization ship. We're then going to make two destroyers. And they're going to make fighters. Now, you build fighters to support uh, destroyer groups. We might upgrade those before we get there. And no, so I've spent a lot more money than we actually have, as the capacity the capacity also determines how much money we can spend as well. So if I speed that on, you'll notice it's now spending money going down there. Research also costs money to do, but I don't think we've got anything else we can do with that at the moment. So that's that done. I'll just turn that off. So what's actually being built down here? It is building nothing currently. So I'm going to speed things along and go for another ship research facility. There. Now, ship research facility costs 450 power and 2,500 civilians. We don't actually have quite enough to get that working. So, in order to sort the power supply issue out, we're also going to have to build a fusion plant. We'll also need some. We'll need to also need to wait for some population growth, but that should happen reasonably quickly on that. See, it, it, it slows you down deliberately, but organically in a strange sort of way. This is now done, but it's building a colony hub, so it can't do anything else for the moment until that is done. So we'll just wait and see what the colony colonizer actually comes up with the further we move away from our own area the shorter the ship's actual radar gets reporting I can, sir i can actually show that if i split the fleet up here reporting sir so i can split the fleet up we're going to send one destroyer off by himself yes yes sir there you go and yes, i'm just going to send him over to there to sort of show the effect a bit oops reporting sir what you will do, though, is get you to go and do this. Now, if you actually create a circuit of things there, it will actually do an automatic patrol route. So it will now continually do that. And basically, we're trying to look for just planets out slightly outside of our system. Once Colony Hub is up, we'll be able to expand that on. But as you can see, yes, the further sir. away we get, the less our radar range gets as well. Although we did manage to luck out and find something. Not a very good world, though. Yes. Okay. So okay. what we'll do is we'll join that. And because of the way the... Um, the thing works because we did right click there it will now join up back up with that fleet and reconnect it i love some of the ways this game does work and just oh, actually is it connected up Try to work out. yeah it is that's fine right so colonization ship is Your being spy built has returned. Our spy has returned oh, damn it. that's the one thing i'm gonna have to remember the hotkeys for this um again i'm gonna have to write those down it's going to the upper right corner is a bit awkward so our spy training happened, and his loyalty is now up to 9! He's now loyal to us, which is quite good, and he's gone up to level 6. We can kill spies off if their loyalty gets too low, but his loyalty is now high enough that we don't have to worry about that too much. He's not particularly good, but hey, he's loyal. We trained him. We're not going to kill off somebody. We're not going to uninvest in somebody we've trained in. So that's probably fine. Um, 
just looking at things here. So, weapons, cannon turret takes one, machine gun takes one. I also do have the ability of double moneying research, which basically, yeah, it's pretty much as it says, doubles the money. What I will do though, thinking about this on the design front, is upgrade to have a hyperdrive mark one. Okay, and then I can rebuild and redesign all the ships. So that's now done. All of our ships should now have that. And they should move slightly faster. But that did cost us some money. New message has arrived. Occasionally you will get messages from people. Emperor, we have an emergency. A huge alien fleet is closing in on our planet and they're ignoring our communications. They have enough ships and firepower to start an invasion. Please, this is an urgent request for reinforcements. Okay. So, bandits have now come in. This this, uh, this sort of mission happens quite a lot. It's one of the early missions they give you. So, now that we've done... Emperor, yeah. we have... You heard that. Thank you. Go away. Back to the star map. Right, so there is an incoming alien fleet, which we can see there. So, what we oh, shall boy. do is we shall set up. We shall set up for that. How are we doing there? That colonization ship's quite a way away. Yes. They're a long way away, actually. Moving to new position, sir. They might actually be a bit tough for us here. So that's our tax income alert. We'll get occasional messages about that when it actually happens. 10% hospital needed. Normal colonization is 50%. How is... I think it's on the surface going. Ship research doesn't quite have enough people on it. We're 105 people short of functioning all of our buildings. That's what that means. So we will have a second ship research facility as soon as it's ready. Yes, sir. How many ships are in there? The Chakarg Empire is approaching. Us then. Orders, sir. Yes, sir. Just check what we got in the fleet. Two wheel tanks. Not a lot else. And that doesn't have the facilities to build anything just yet. Okay. Moving to new position. Let's go. Let's go for it. So, we're about to see what the combat system looks like in this game, because it's not a bad one, actually. Enemy fleet has been spotted. Right, we yes. don't know anything about it just yet, unfortunately, but we will find out soon oh, what it contains. Sorry. Intercepted. Right, so their fleet is two destroyers with a fighting power of 105, and 65. Yes, now our yes, fighter sir. craft are actually yes, weaker sir. than that, Your which orders. is depressing. So the best bet we have really is to concentrate on the weakest ship, kill that, and then try and kill the, the biggest ship with what we've got. But that is actually as strong yes, as our four things there, so we're actually in a bit of trouble for start. Let's go. We're going to have to hope for superior tactics here. And that our fighters are, great, are good. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Run you out of there because you're being attacked. Oh, missiles. Reporting, sir. That very that darn near killed it. Attack. Let's go. Enemy eliminated. Awaiting sir. order, sir. Right, now we have to Let's concentrate go. on that. I hope that we've got enough fighters to still pull Your this orders. off. It's been a pleasure. It has. It has, sir. Well done. Let's go. I think I we're think just about gonna manage this. Awaiting orders, sir. We're gonna die here, He's sir. Gonna blow. No, he's not. No, we're not. Stop panicking. All right. Well, our fleet will gain a small amount of experience for that, but we at least did destroy the incoming fleet. They were tough, though. Victory. Emperor, your leadership of our forces was inspired. The whole empire is jubilant over our victory. From the wreckage, we gain an alien ship design. Yes, you can actually steal enemy ship designs in this game as well. So, from that, we now have... The Dragwolf. Now, we don't actually have the tech for a lot of this, but I think we can still actually build it. So, guess what we're going to do? We're going to build some of them. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of that. Uh, I think I can actually remove that. Dragwolves. I'm not sure they're cheaper, seemingly. But we're going to get two of those, and um, five of those, rather, and a group of fighters to just hiss it on the back. Yes, right, sir. Anytime, nice you better sir. return, because you're... The fleet is a bit wounded. We will recover. We will recover. 
But that did hurt. Right, our money's going down rather rapidly, but that's because of all the colonization ships and things we're building. That's going to be the same spy, obviously, but we don't have a way of dealing with him just yet. We're not going to hire him. I think they lose loyalty if you um, try and do things like that. Really? I don't have a lot of things I can actually get you to do. You, because he's leveled up, we now have a load more missions available. But really, there's not a lot I can do other than possibly putting on counterintelligence for no reason. So I'm going to cancel that and just leave him where he is. Right, I know that, I know time has been going on. There was a reason for that, kind of. Maybe. Who knows? 91%. So we're nearly done with that. As you can see, we are losing money, but we, hopefully when a we get the third... Spy has arrived at your spy base. Not interested in another spy at your spy base. Ooh. You nearly done. Not yet. What we are going to do, though, is once that is done... This one is going to be a production place because that obviously makes sense. It's also going to be a much higher level production col Yeah, there we go. It's now up. Right, now that that's done, we have a second area now. Don't have a lot of funds to set it off, but we now have a wider area we can explore. So this is sort of how this game will work, early game at least. We don't we know we're in that sort of corner, so in this corner of the map, so we don't have to worry too much about defense from over there, but we do have to worry about from up there. So yeah, pretty much production is the key here. We need to start yes, building sir. up some money. You are going to okay. colonize there. That is a trade ship. If we have trade facilities... Um, I'm not even sure what you got there, actually, thinking about this. Do you have it? I don't think you do have trade ports off the top of your... No, you don't. But we do have a ship research facility that's now actually done something. So now we can go for enhanced radar or quad laser. We're going to go for enhanced radar first. Because we want to be able to see things. Alright, speed up time. Yes, sir. Oh, that's it. Did we not get that colonized? Yeah, there we go. Right, so that's now done. Planet surface. What have we got building here? Nothing currently. Let's go for a tank factory. Which requires 4,000 people. I forget the... I do forget how much you actually need to get these working. But that's fine. It will organically gain more people as it, as it when it needs, and it will do what it needs to do. Free systems are Research ours. Is completed. Research is completed. We're going to run out of money here, but we might as well finish that off. Let's go and go design, and then upgrade our destroyer. We can't actually adjust the um, Dragworth um, designs, by the way, unfortunately. But we can now put Enhanced Radar on if we go to Upgrade. Enhanced Lasers, I think we can, that's all we can fit on there. Go OK, and I can do that for 4,000, spending most of our money. The way the money works in this game also, it does not let you have a bank loan. When we run out of money, we stop building things. Which can be a problem, depending on your taxes. But once you've got enough planets, we're probably OK with that. Of course, it does slow your game up. Completed. There we go. So now that's no longer going to be draining on, on our um, research. That will probably be okay. Yeah, still need we need more facilities here, really. But if I just look at what we're doing here. Technological. High tax is a problem. Should be okay there. Right, we're getting there. I think I'm going to start building that tank factory now. Oh, no, we don't. We don't have $8,000. So, no, we're not. That might be another reason why we're not building anything. Oh, we have to wait for money. Not that we got any. Your right, order. so... They've actually now looped the system here. Do we got a... Oh, we got a new one there. Yes, sir. It's not really that valuable to us. Okay. Yeah, you can just set up there. All right, production then continues. We have one of you. You are going to join... That fleet there, I think. Your orders? Moving Get to into there. position. Meanwhile, you... Oh, damn it. We're out of money again. Darn it. This is a problem you will find with this game. You've got to really be careful about tax levels and things. At least we're not actually hitting zero. If we're hitting zero, we'd have problems. Out of one random Reporting, bit of interest, does the Dragworth actually have better radar than what we're using? 
No, we'll off that. Um, should be in the designs, actually. So if it does, then it's... Yeah, it's got enhanced radar. Okay, so that can see further. Let's go and put a wider expl explore pattern on. We just really want to find something. We don't need to necessarily need to find a lot, but... Yeah, there we go. Don't need to necessarily find a lot, but we'll see what's around. And then we'll wait for our money to pick up above. There we go. Right, money's above 10,000. We're going to start building this thing now. The spaceship factory's been built. Okay, they've already sort of gone ahead of us here, but we now have another spaceship factory. So I could slowly build another... Um... Oh, capacity's actually much better from this one. You can see because it's got a 210% production, it is much better at building things. It's going to build a third colonization ship because we need, we need more. Right, Central 6... When we get down to it, we need to make this one. I think this could be a civilian world, actually. I'm going to make this a... No, we're not going to make it a high-tax civilian world, although that will annoy people. High-priority civilian world, though. For trade... Oh, actually, we'll go trade. I want to try and get some money out of this world, if we can. It's not likely to happen very soon, but, you know... Well go with this. Sure. Also, we need to re path you, I think, because we've now got that new area to worry about. Orders received. Right, waypoints all the way along there, up there, and then back to roughly there, I think. Okay. Spit on. So that's a new one. This is a desert world, actually. Deploy satellites. It's actually fairly rubbish. Okay, nothing's actually cost spending any money at this stage. Have we stopped, or is it just doing something odd? No, it is doing... Yeah, that was just a tax um, haven coming in. Right, so this is Imperium Galactica 2. We have started the long road to glory. Three systems in are there. We've got a fourth being constructed now. Hopefully, and we're also... Oh, we, yeah, we are now running out of money. Yeah, this will happen. I think the only way I can really stop this now is actually by stopping building most of those. So we're going to cut that down. We're not going to build a lot of these anymore. We'll just put that last one and then we're done there. So our monthly income is just being spent massively. <laughs> it's being spent far too quickly. Tax income was not enough last year. We can uh, we can uh, raise the tax rate to try and be a bit more oppressive, and I think we might have to now. They're not going to like it, but I think we're going to have to. High tax rate. We can we can fix this later. In fact, I should really be setting. Yeah, set everything to high. All right, that'll get us a little more money and allow us to sort of try and keep things afloat a little bit. All right, more trade vessels. Ooh, ooh, we've discovered the Tulan Empire. Where do we find that? Yes, I yeah, just randomly way. do it up here. Or is that just one of their random ships? Okay, we now have a spy opponent now. Into position. That's potentially a problem way. for us. Okay. Well, I'm going to save the game here. So next time, we continue playing Imperium Galactica 2 and seeing if I can actually remember how to play and win this game because right now all I've worked out is that economy is a... Economy needs to be fixed. It definitely needs that. Until then.